Hello and welcome to my item 5.1 Lotus Notes provisioning example where I'll be showing you the latest Lotus Notes offering that the Tivoli group has come out with that will take advantage of the Lotus Notes ID Vault. So this is item managing your notes account taking advantage of ID Vault. So um, let's do a little bit of setup here and log you into the identity manager system and show you the user we're going to manage. We'll log in as the item manager and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and find a user. We've already set up a user and uh, that user is Jen Alba. So we'll go ahead and say manage users and we'll find the user by last name. We'll do a quick search. The user will be returned and we'll start the demo on how we're going to manage this user. The item demo here is being powered by a screen capture device so the responsiveness of the screen is a little latent here in regards to the screen capture. Alba is the last name and we'll go ahead and find the user through the search and we'll look at the accounts that this user has. The target user here being managed by the item interface has three end accounts. It's the item account, the Lotus Notes account, and an Active Directory account. Since we're doing an administrative password reset for the user, what we'll be doing is we'll be using the item interface as the single point of management for the user's three targets. As you can see here, the identity manager is in control of Gen Alba's accounts, and those accounts are listed here, user ID and the service name there are. Let's go over to the target side so you can see the actual accounts. Active Directory Server here is defined inside of an OU called FB Demo, and the user Gen Alba is present. Likewise, inside of the Domino 8.5 server in the slick domain is the account Gen Alba. Uh, one other thing to note here, if we look in the ID Vault, we'll see that the user actually is present in the ID Vault as well. Notice the requirement for this solution is to have the Lotus Notes ID Vault configured. So here's a user who's been managed today, and um, we'll go through some password changes here, and we'll note that this ID Vault value will change for the update. So let's go back to the Tim interface, and what we'll do is we will submit a password change for this user, Gen Alba. Now we've already identified the user here, so let's go back and first make sure that Jen Alba can log into AD and then her notes account. So this is a uh, workstation image for the user. It's already been pre-configured, and the user will simply log in with a known password. Now let's just say this user didn't know their password and they were faced with their workstation. That's the scenario we're in right now. The user would call the help desk and get their password change done. So I don't know what this password is, so I'm going to change it. Let me go into Tim and I'll select change password. And what I'll do is the password for this user, I'll make AAA, triple four, IBM, 2P. Password rules will be defined however you'd like them, but for this example, we're just going to use a simple password policy. Now the interface will come back to me and ask me if I'd like to have an automated password done or if I'd like to type one in myself there are options for delivery as well, but we're just going to go through the straight interface here. I'm going to type in a password. And I'm going to submit that. The submitting of the password change will go through the TIM interface. It'll invoke a password change for the item account, Active Directory account, and ultimately the Lotus Notes account, which is what our demo is here trying to show you how we work with the new ID Vault. I'll go to the audit history of the password change and I'll look to see if the TIM server has completed the request and honored that successfully. The audit log at the end of the provisioning request will show us what the provisioning actions were through the interface and it will give you the status. The item server here will show us in one second. Now, the view all request by user is showing us that mm, the administrator here, the requester, 
being me, the system administrator, was the item manager. This will change as the user helps themselves, and we'll see this later. Note the successful status for a change for multiple accounts. Had we had any issues with any of the three that we had submitted, it will come here and it would have given you a warning for the password change status, but the status has success, so all three of them were done. Let's go to the target's workstation and now enter the password which we set. AAA 444IBM2P. Now we go ahead and log into that and that allowed us our Active Directory access to the domain which we're a part of to work. So we've go ahead and log into AD and that's evident by our domain access here. Now let's launch our notes client. Domino85 comes up and asks us what our password is. Same password is going to hold here because we synchronized the passwords. We go ahead and log in. Domino says, good to go, you're in. Now, Lotus takes care of the synchronizing of ID files once you're in the vault. ITIM sends the request to Domino and says the user's in the vault, so you need to update the vault record. When we go over here to the user, um, we emailed ourselves prior to the start of this demo what our current password was. At the time was the word for and the word Chris Weber. So let's go ahead and email ourselves our new password so we'll know what this is. And this is just for demo sakes. We would never give anybody our password, even ourselves. But once we've done this change here, what we're going to do is we're going to now go over to the um, user's Domino Web Access account because we've told the ITIM adapter to synchronize the HTTP password at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to log in as a user, Jen Alba and we're going to supply our password, AAA, triple four, IBM, 2P. We'll go ahead and submit that. It's going to log us into the web interface of iNotes, which we already have. When we go here, we're going to see we'll have two emails, the same ones we saw on the client, and we're just accessing it here through the DWA account, showing how the sync will happen. And here's our first password and our second one, and here's the value once we open up that memo. Now, the reason we're showing you the DWA access here is to show that the TIM server can then send a request to the notes client to synchronize both of the accounts and that's ultimately what the goal was here. So here's the new password that comes up to the Domino client. So let's go ahead and log out all together here because in this example the administrator reset our password and told us what it was. But we don't want anyone to know what our password is. So in that example, what we would rather do is we'd rather have the end user fulfill a password change for themselves. So what we'll do in part two of my demo here, we're going to go ahead and show how the user will then help themselves through the ITIM interface of self-help. So if you'd like to see that part, plug into part two of this demo and if you have any questions or like to see more demos please use my email here and send us a request saying you'd like to see more of these YouTube videos. Thanks a lot and come back for part two.